Hey guys, Snarrow TM here, back again with yet another arts video. And surprisingly, third video in a row is 20 art styles challenge. I can't even imagine how productive I am these days. I invest like most of my time into digital art. And I'm working not only on like these 20 art styles challenges, but also on many more projects. So I'm proud of myself actually. And today, long-awaited 21 Pilots video. I know you guys begged for it and I kept putting it away for some reason. But here it is and I chose to do Josh Dunn first. And do not worry, I will do Tyler in uh, one of my videos pretty soon. I'm not sure when because I still want to like upload maybe two or three videos before that happens but for sure stay tuned for that I will definitely make it and I really hope you like this video since I really tried my best because I know you guys love him and love 21 Pilots and I love them too their music is awesome and uh, it's kind of ironic because my last video was Harley Quinn from Suicide Squad and they made the music you know so it's pretty matching and cool and I'm pretty happy how well my like Harley Quinn video is performing right about now it almost has 4,000 views uh, Melanie Martinez part 2 video performs a lot like slower because it only has 2k views uh, and it was up for like longer period of time but I don't know I'm really hoping that these challenges and also some other videos that I will upload will uh, like push my channel towards my goals as I said I really want to reach 50k so if you guys do want to help me out I guess like, comment, subscribe, uh, hit notification bell, share with your friends uh, or on your social media. Just do that if you want because I really want to reach that goal. So it will be a big thank you. Also guys, don't forget to suggest styles and people you want me to draw in this challenge because I'm always open for suggestions. Also, you can not only recommend me like stars, like, you know, music stars, you can also recommend me actors or any other famous people. Also, you can recommend characters because why not? Let's say I would take Ariel from Disney and make her in 20 styles challenge. Even though she is animated character, it would be still very interesting just to see how she looks. So if you want any kind of character also suggest, I would be happy to make it. I kind of have in mind Harry Potter for some reason. I just really like how he looks. He's very like iconic, everybody knows him, so it would be a fun video to make. And of course, as I said, recommend some styles. I try to include as many new styles in here as possible. Uh, once again, I just chose from like your favorites, about like five or six. Then I choose like uh, from what I already done in other videos and then uh, this time for most of these I just took brand new styles that I never done before so that's interesting and challenging as well and also I'm really sorry if I don't shade all of these even though they could be shaded um, I don't think it makes that huge of a difference maybe as illustration it would look better but overall in terms of style um, I don't think the shading is that important. For example, in anime you have this very rough shading without any blending. In some other styles you have very soft blending. So if it's very important, I do use it. But in very simplistic styles, I just add those basic shadows on the neck, you know, uh, under the hair or somewhere like that, under the nose. In the parts where it's needed, but for example here it's a lot of work and I don't want to invest this much time into it. And of course if you do want to see more 20 art style challenge videos, please forgive me for that. And actually I sacrifice a lot of time with my friends just to make these videos. And they're already angry at me, but I wish they would understand how much YouTube means to me. I just have this passion in me and I really really want to like make video instead of just sitting around drinking coffee and chilling. I know it sounds weird but I'm just like that. I'm right about now I'm very motivated 
and I'm kind of scared that I might lose friends because they're actually very very harsh about it but I hope they will understand that I just really want to reach that 50k or even 100k one day and in order to do that you really need to push yourself and it's funny how uh, the song by Post Malone, Congratulations, actually motivates me a lot. Whenever I lack of motivation, I just turn on that song and in the end I end up like making so much, like I'm being so productive just because of that song. I'm just like imagining that this song could be playing when I will reach uh, 100k or something like that. It would be very awesome and I don't know, it's just dreams that might never happen. I might never reach 100k even though I'm really hoping, but I'm not actually focusing that much on numbers. Right about now I'm focusing mostly on improving my art skills. I'm sketching a lot, I'm drawing a lot, I'm aiming to like learn how to paint digitally during the summer. That's one of my goals and I really feel that if I do want to succeed in YouTube, I have to improve my English skills, my editing skills, and especially my drawing skills, because with low quality drawings and videos, I will not be able to reach my goal, because nobody wants to see low quality content, and especially for our channel, quality is very important. So, not numbers, I guess, but developing my skills what matters. Of course, I would like to make money from YouTube. I do make a little bit, but not too much, trust me. And just because I just want to invest more in YouTube, I want new camera, new like setup and stuff, especially the lights. Oh my God, my videos, like traditional videos uh, are just terrible. And especially, especially right about now, I need a tablet because my tablet is like dying from inside and outside. And since right about now I'm doing so much digital art, I feel that uh, tablet will be my next purchase, I guess. And, and also it's very small and my screen, like my computer screen is extremely big. So those settings don't match and it's really kind of strange to draw now. And I guess I should buy medium one. I really, really want to be honest, iPads. Everybody gets iPads for drawing these days and I'm just sitting here broke and just, I guess, dreaming and wishing that one day I will be able to afford it. So, yep, I did have kind of a plan to maybe go to uh, like Germany or somewhere to work for two months, like very hard work and earn some money. But in the end, I have to choose between YouTube and that, and I feel that I want to choose YouTube, even though I don't make much money, but in the end, I think that I don't want to leave it behind and just do nothing. And I'm really sorry if I sound weird or sick or something, because I have to talk quietly, because my grandmother is sleeping in the next room and I don't want to wake her up. And I'm really sorry if I chatted a little bit too long about some like personal stuff and I didn't talk about the styles. I just thought it would be more interesting this way since it tends to get a little bit repetitive when I talk about each style. And now after I talk for more than 10 minutes, I can actually just, you know, run through all the styles and say what I have to say about each and not like try to like come up with something then I have nothing to say. So let's just do that fast. So first of all my style, I still didn't develop my style even though I'm actually kinda know how I want my female characters to look, especially the eyes. So I still didn't do anything new in this video but I am like in process. I am starting to understand what I want from my art. Next is Pokemon, so I just gave him a fire Pokemon because of his hair, I guess. It just matches, I think. Next we have my little pony, and I had a little footage of this for some reason. It just got deleted, or I didn't record, I don't know what happened, but 
that happened. I'm really sorry about that, but here's my little pony. Also, we have Ed, Ed and Eddie. Of course, I always choose if I can to do this since this style is one of my favorites. And next we have Adventure Time and I gave him little drumsticks because, you know, he's a drummer. And I always try to include some kind of gadgets in Adventure Time character because it's very simplistic and it gives like this interest, I guess. And I might use this again on a thumbnail because it looks just really cool and it represents Josh Dunn pretty well just because of those like sticks, I'll think about it. And next we have Dragon Ball. Everybody loves Dragon Ball, so finally I wanted to include it once again. And uh, he looks pretty damn badass. <laughs> next we have Gorillas, and I'm pretty proud of this one. It looks pretty nice and very close to Gorilla style. Since I do have a book now, I can actually make it more accurate. And next we have uh, Oya Romaru. I don't know how you say it. Oya Romaru? Oya Romaru? Oh god, I, I don't know Japanese, I don't know English, so this was awkward, but um, this is a show I never saw, I don't know about it, anything about it. I just googled some new styles, watched some other videos on YouTube of 20 art styles challenge just to get some ideas uh, where on what kind of styles I could do, and this was one of them, and I don't know how you spell it, Oyarumaru or Ojarumaru? or something like that, I don't know, I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, next is Disney, and uh, yeah, I just imagine how he would look as a prince, I guess. <laughs> and he would look like one edgy emo looking prince, I guess. Um, Lucky Star, I don't know, I just included that because I like Lucky Star style, even though guys don't look as good as female characters there. Next we have Osomatsu-san, I don't know how we say it once again, I'm not good at Japanese, my boyfriend just finished his bachelor degrees on Japanese, so I'm proud of him. I'm really hoping he will help me write some mangas, you know, it would be awesome, that's why I love him. <laughs> so uh, next we have Sonic and I remembered the style from one of the videos I watched on YouTube and I was like, why not, it's awesome, I like it and it looks cool, I guess. Next we have Happy Tree Friends and uh, I even held a poll asking you guys uh, what kind of like animal he could be and all of you guys were so active and cool and I got many different ideas. Uh, some of you wanted to see him as a fox, lion, um, cat, um, bird and many many different other animals and most of you said that his favorite animal is cats, so in the end I decided to do a cat because it would be, like, logical to do. Um, and, I mean, cats can climb to trees, so that's also... so that also makes sense. Next we have Tim Burton, and I tried to do the style this time a lot messier because I got a lot of comments that I make it too clean, so here we go, I tried, I guess. Um, next we have The Simpsons, and uh, I don't know, I use as a reference Futurama, I guess, I, I will be honest because that character looked kinda like him, and I just used yellow skin tone, and here we have The Simpsons. <laughs> Next we have Case Closed. I never saw this anime. It's one of like Google suggestions when I wrote anime and I thought it's unique and I will use it. Next we have one art YouTuber style and I really like her style. It's very awesome and it's very unique and recognizable so I thought I will use it. In the future I want to do Bailey J style because she developed her style quite well so I'm looking forward to that. Next we have Rick and Morty. A lot of you asked for Rick and Morty, so here you go. I never saw the show to be honest, but the style is pretty simple and cool. Um, Amnesia is one of my favorite animes. One of my favorite animes. I have a lot, but this one is truly my one of my favorites. And uh, I like how hot those guys are. And I thought that uh, Josh Dunn will look pretty cool in the style. And finally, we have Gravity Falls, of course, just like Gravity Falls. Uh, I really like the style because it's very bubbly, even the hair is bubbly, so yeah. And yeah, and these are all the styles. I hope you enjoyed, uh, I hope you like it. And I guess next video will probably be contest, drawing contest, so 
uh, stay tuned for that and I guess like, comment, subscribe, uh, you know, hit notification bell, uh, help me in every way possible. Also visit my Instagram page, I will leave a link down below. And thank you a lot for watching, for listening, suggest many more characters and stars and actors and dancers and you know, anything, anyone who is famous. So yeah, and I guess, bye!